I'm stuck. Uh oh, you dumped a chest on my head. Uh, lady, you just made a powerful enemy. Forager, and I've got bad news for the chickens of this game. Hopefully it doesn't take us too long to get our hands on them. So far so good, I haven't screwed anything up yet. Menu? Uh, menu, great. Let's get started by building a furnace. Zero of ten. And I definitely have zero respect for this ecosystem. If it exists, I'm going to destroy it for my own game. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm already forgetting what it is I'm building and what I need to do so. I'm just having fun breaking stuff. Also, I can do this. But can I... Nope, I seem to be confined to my island. Apparently I'm doing something right. By obsessively chasing every little plant on the island, I've managed to level up, which is a new skill. And since I don't really know anything about anything, I'm going to go with magic. Despite the fact that this game is called Forager. Forging might have been a better option, but now that I have it, I'm looking at this. Gain 20% more experience. And in a game where this gets you experience, I feel that 20% is going to add up a lot. Looking back to what we're actually supposed to be doing, one furnace, and that's going to go probably there. I have no idea if that matters or not. And what do you do? Coal, brick, iron, gold. And it is now dark. What is this thing? Can I mine you? Let me have the bug. Nope, apparently there's not really a lot we can do with the bug. Unless I'm misunderstanding things, which I probably am. You win this round, glow bug. Back to what I was doing. I guess it would probably make a lot more sense to actually put that furnace to work right now. It seems to want us to build a forge next. Iron ingots and brick. Before we can do either of those, we need coal, which comes from wood, because of course it does. Luckily, I have lots of wood, because I obsessively destroy anything within 10 feet of me. Ooh, this is a new one. It is gold. I guess that makes sense. And this would probably be coal. Level three. What is treasure found? We have 46 treasures to find and 49 landstone. And that's going to be a lot of damn coffee to get that far. So we had the magic fairy. Now we want brilliance. 20% more experience, which appears to be a stepping stone towards combat and alchemy. Both of which sound fun, but I'm mostly just in it to break stuff. Right, let's actually keep the furnace going. Did I make a second furnace? I'm hardly utilizing the first one. And this guy's already whining to me that he's hungry. I guess his energy is pretty low, so... For once, we'll take care of our little guy. Also, here's two more furnaces for basically no reason. Efficiency at its finest. Level 4. And I'm trapped behind a tree. I think we're gonna go with foraging on this one. Seems like we can find more stuff. Which, as it turns out is the pathway to another experience boosting skill. Gain 25% experience on plants and crops. Well, that sounds important. I need one more level. Next on the agenda, the forge. I can build it because of course I can. That gives us the option for coins, keys, slimy pickaxe, yes please, jelly. Where do I get jelly? Seeing as we don't have any money though, let's smelt all of our gold out into coins. Buy lands, we can only afford one right now. 30? 50, 60, yeah, we'll just go with the cheap one for now. Not sure what the benefit of this one was. What do these do? Is it a puzzle? So... It didn't like that very much. Yeah, I'll pretend I got that right and go mine things for a while. Wait a sec. Do you see what I see? The elusive slime. Ow. But do I have anything that restores health? Doesn't appear so. Those beets are delicious though. Well, I better play this one a little bit smarter. Well, that was easy. I can already make it. Oh, I guess I gotta wait for it. And I just hit level 5 while I'm waiting. Another slime has appeared. Might as well take care of that while we wait and then we'll do our new skill. Hello, slime? Uh oh. Won't be outsmarted this time. Definitely want this. Four inventory slots, 25% more XP from plants and crops. I just heard my new pickaxe get spat out, and it's a big show. Slimy pickaxe. Damage increased 75%. Gain 50% more jelly when killing slimes. That was definitely my number one concern. Well, might as well put that to the test. Yep, two hits instead of three now. Much faster. Uh, I figured out the puzzle, by the way. It was bottom right, upper left, upper right, bottom left. I didn't record it because I'm dumb. That chest doesn't seem to fit. I can hit it. Well, can I just break it open from here then? Apparently not. And what is this little guy? Can I have you? Oh, I can. 12 XP. Okay, they get to the chest. Farming. Because bridges are a farming thing apparently. And that allows me to walk all the way up to it. I need a key. Of course I do. Which means I need to smelt some more gold. Good thing I have a million furnaces that I never utilize. One key, please. I have to wait for that too. At least not very long. And there it is. Alright. Well, what's this big guy going to give us? Hopefully something good. Glasses? XP gained, boosted by 20%. I actually really like that. Not only does it make me look cooler, but I'm going to level up that much faster and unlock everything that much faster. Level 6, wood cutting. Because I need more wood, because it's kind of the basis of everything still. The next pickaxe is bones. I have no idea where to get bones yet. Level 7, leveling up super fast now, just wandering around smashing everything. We're going to stick to the core for now. Rocks drop 40% more minerals. That one fish trap caught sand. Not sure if that's good or not, but it's sand. And seaweed, even better. Well, consumable, I'll take one of those. Not sure what that did. 66 coins, 
what do we spend this on? Uh, prices seem to be escalating quickly. The usual land masses aren't too bad, but the ones extending out are the ones I already bought, or 20 and 270. Therefore, I can only deduce that these are going to make me a lot of money. Oh, well, maybe that big chest is full of good stuff, and I need to make my way all the way over to it. Just like that. And what's in the big chest? Oh yeah, I probably need a key for that. Wait a sec. What do you do? Ooh, egg. Okay, what else do you do? No more eggs. Oh, well, here we go. Eggs and chicken, winning combination. You too? Oh yeah, get the egg first, then kill the chicken. Leveling up so quickly now, it's almost ridiculous. I think prospecting is the way to go. Rocks have 10% chance to drop gems. Increased rare chance, 30%. Is that a cow? You give me milk? Come here. Well, since you don't give me milk. Ooh, what do we got? Meat and hide. I want bones. Next time, can we just debone the cow? I think we're actually going to keep this chicken alive to see how many eggs it produces. It might actually be more beneficial to have living chickens. Ooh, a fairy thing. Give me that. I see how it is. First things first, what's in the actual chest? A purple octopus. Lantern provides better visibility in the dark. Oh, well, now it's pretty much daytime everywhere I go, and it follows me around. Fairy? Got it. Okay, chicken, you had your chance. Oh no, you do have an egg. Never mind. Sorry about that. I'm sure you'll uh, heal up nicely. And another level up. Seems important now we get farming, because we definitely need a shovel for that other perk we unlocked. And shovels are easy enough to make. Uh, I think I just found my first gem. It came out of a rock or something, and I've got to eat something to get stuff out of the way. A ruby, value 90. I've really got to find a store. One shovel. Dig up dirt to plant crops or find items. Well, that sounds like something I could actually manage. So then, how do I plant the crops? Apparently, I just kind of don't, so I'll just continue on doing like I'm doing. Ooh, are those bones? Those are bones. How many did I need for my new pickaxe? Iron, brick, bones. Easy. And there's a water shovel? I can actually make that right now. What does it do, though? Do I want to sacrifice my stuff? Probably not. Let's make the bone pickaxe first. My next upgrade may very well be more storage, because my inventory is really full, and I'm finding a lot of new stuff really quick. Level 10, at least. I feel like something in the economy area should unlock stores at some point, so I'm going to go with storage, because I need storage. So banking might be the next one. Unlocks banks. I don't really know what that does. I should probably pay more attention to what I can actually be building. Here's my vault, but I don't have the steel for that, and I don't have the skill to make steel, so I'm getting ahead of myself. I know, that's definitely shocking to everyone watching. Welcome to Digging Simulator 2019. Let's take the expensive land to our south. 80 gold, and it comes with a giant tree and a whale cat. Oh, that thing doesn't like me, apparently. Uh, excuse me, sir, would you like to buy some crap off me? I really need to sell some. Just the person I was waiting for. Uh, is your cat thing gonna attack me? The natural resources are being exploited by little jerks with pickaxes. Wouldn't know anything about that. I need you to bring me two torch bugs so I can keep them safe from harm. Yeah, helping things stay out of harm's way is totally my thing. I'm gonna need a glass jar for that. Okay, I'm gonna kill your cat thing, by the way. It's really annoying me. Sorry about that. Hopefully you didn't uh, like that too much. Sir, I will trade you like 500 gold worth of gems for two bones. I really just want a better pickaxe. I have, once again, leveled up. Now I need to remember actually what I need to do. This one, I guess. Steel and glass seems pretty important right now. Look at the cow. Going to the shepherd for protection. He's not gonna save you. He tries to stop it. I'm gonna kill him too. All right, I think I can finally make myself an actual bank vault, which is gonna be great because I can store stuff that I don't really need right away. It comes with a gigantic six slot, so this is definitely a game of managing your inventory. But the gems can definitely go in there, and probably also the bones for now. While we're at it, we'll put the wheat in there because I don't know what that stuff does anyway. Level up again, hopefully to find a store so I can sell some stuff or something. I don't even know what I want anymore. I'm at that beautiful stage in the game where I'm just completely overwhelmed with so many things I want to do. I kind of want to try banking. I probably should have considered what it's actually going to take to make a bank. Steel, brick, gold. That's actually not too bad. I should probably actually make a sewing station too. I probably should have done this years ago. This island's going to be a mess by the time I'm done with it. Because wouldn't you know it? I can make things like small backpacks and wallets now that I have this very basic item I should have made 40 years ago. For now, we're going to focus on making the mason jar. That way I can catch that idiot some bugs or whatever and then see what he gives me in reward. Let's get ourselves a small backpack, shall we? That sounds very helpful. I got my jar, now I just need to find one of the glow bugs, which probably avoid me because I have a gigantic lantern. And I think for now I am actually going to upgrade my shovel just because I like to upgrade stuff. Can I get the glow bug? Got him. Okay, so let's give that to dummy. Or do I need two at the same time? One out of two. Can I get the second one though? Nope, I literally need to make a new bottle to bring him another bug. Backpack's done apparently. Four more inventory slots. That is hugely helpful. New shovel. Big area increased. This could be fun. Oh, that's much better. Now we're going to find the bones. Another level up. This time, I'm going for extra coins. These are going to add up quick. Now we're up to 206 coins, so let's buy a new island. 3,800? 
that's not gonna happen. 50, 320, yep. We're going for the cheap one. But that came with a cool reward or something. I own five lands, but more importantly, look at all this real estate. There's gotta be some bones here somewhere. Or maybe not. But for now, I did get a second bug for a buddy, so let's bring that to him and see what he gives us. Thank you for the critters. Thank you in advance for my precious reward. You may keep these magic scrolls as a reward. Do they do anything? They're very valuable. Oh. In hindsight, I would have just sold that instead of growing more trees. And what do you want now? I am afraid the natural resource exploitation is still going rampant. Yeah, that's weird. Could you bring me some tree saplings? Yeah, let me get right on that. So do bones just not exist? Oh, I didn't know I could interact with that. Gain XP bonus. Gain bonus XP from gathering herbs and crops. Yep, I'm all over that. Also, I've managed to level up. Markets, here we go. Trade. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go with that. I'm not even looking anywhere else. A market, of course, takes five leathers, which I can't build yet. But we'll work on that. Should we try a new island at least, since I'm kind of spinning my wheels on this one? Ooh, that looks like fun. Lots of digging, hopefully bones. We'll just kind of figure out how to build a nice little bridge over to there. Yes, I did that wrong. It looks kind of like the only thing here is fairies. I'm not sure if that fountain does anything, but I'll just take the room. And a level up. The fountain does not seem to do anything by itself. You know what I completely forgot about? Building a bank. We're going to throw that right there to see what this thing actually does. It looks like it just continually spits out coins. So I wish I remembered to build that an hour ago when I unlocked it, because that'd be a lot richer now. We're actually going with sewing because I want leather. That's it. That's straightforward enough. After this, we can get a market and I can start selling surplus stuff for surplus money. Right. Let's see what the market is all about. Ooh, it's big. I kind of hate to put it there because that's my prime digging spot, but I'm not finding any bones anyway, so what does it really matter? Finally have the option to sell a lot of stuff, so that should get me 71 gold by the time this is all gone. But but for now, I'm going to sell all my gems because I don't know what they do, and that's fine. Turns out islands are really expensive to buy, so who'd have thought? And also the druid scrolls are going to go because I don't think they have a reuse. And just like that, 2300 gold. I'm also going to sell all of my jelly and wheat because it's actually kind of valuable. Now with our 2800 gold, we should be able to buy a pretty nice island. I'm working off the theory that the more expensive it is, the more it will give me. And there's one here for 3040. I just about have enough, so that's what we're getting next. Apparently this island changed because now there's a large blue haired lady in the pond. Not sure how or why she's here. Ow, uh oh. Sweet child. Yes, welcome. Let my fairies rest your weary body. I just eat the environment to do that. I need to ask you for a very small donation. Shocker. Nothing's ever free in this game. Can I have a donation from someone? I will reward you with the power of my fairies. May light shine on your quest. O okay. I think I just got a free skill point. Thank you. You are so kind. I don't know what I did. Please take this as a token of our gratitude. Take what? A big chest? Do I have any keys? I'm stuck. Uh-oh. You dumped a chest on my head. Uh... Lady, you just made a powerful enemy. I'm going to try reloading and hopefully this isn't a big issue. I'm not liking what I'm seeing. Outstanding. Thanks, lady. You think I could actually make a forge right beside me and have it make a key and I'll grab the key? Can I get away with that? Look at me being clever. I really hope this works. I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach the key from here. There's the key. Okay, it actually worked. Outstanding. Fairy Aura provides passive health and energy regeneration. That's actually really good. Because I go through a lot of energy digging up the world. Why am I down to 2,000 gold though? Is that what she asked for as a donation? Was 1,000 gold? I didn't even read the thing. That lady really sucks. Yeah, don't worry about it. I don't want to buy a $3,000 island anyway. I'm happy to just give you gold. Here's what we're going to do because I want to see the big island. We're going to sell all the valuables we possibly can. I wonder if at some point she's going to sell bones. That would be pretty handy. Do I need this leather? Probably not. Bricks can go. Bricks are actually quite valuable. I should just start smelting bricks. In fact, I think that's about exactly what I'm going to do. For now, we're going with artistry because crafted items sell for 25% more and I'm about to sell a bunch of bricks. All right, market, amethyst, emerald. Oh, there's some health finally. That only took 40 years and the brick. Which brings us up to 2.84 thousand. We're so very close. Another level up. I have no idea what to spend it on right now. I think all rocks drop coal. I made a habit of breaking rocks because they also drop gems. And that's going to give us the option for quarries. Not entirely sure what that is, but it sounds important. And it's about time we saw what a $3,000 island looks like. Snowy. This had better be worth the investment because that was the price of like all the other islands combined. Right, so that's new. Also, this bug is new. Let's start with this though. This looks interesting. Watches, it's literally just a gem. A ruby that I've been finding everywhere this entire time. What do we got? Nope, that's new. Two crystals. What do we know about crystals? Value of eight. Well, I think that about confirms it. More expensive islands do not equal more expensive benefits. Except for this ghost guy. Who are you? Boo. Hi. Do you have any bones? Probably not if you're a ghost. Yeah, I'm terrified. I'm trying to get better at scaring people. I think I may need help. Perhaps you can help me? 
Every island comes with a person that needs help. You could bring me a couple of demon horns. I would look scarier. Yeah, okay. On the bright side, I managed to buy some cotton seeds from the merchant. I will need to find a way to water crops. They'll grow much faster. Well, it's just cotton seeds, so I don't really care. Okay, well, I guess bones just don't exist anymore. Cool game, though.